In this video, we are going to talk about delimited file sources. When the data comes in a file where each of the fields are separated by a delimiter, we're going to use this uh, format of the source. Let's go ahead and have a look. To create a delimited file source, we go to the sources and uh, drag and drop a delimited file source onto the designer. Once you do that, go to the properties and in the properties let's examine what are the things that you can specify the first thing is the file path so let's point to a file that we are going to use as a source and in this case I'm going to point to this file customers.csv so this is a comma delimited file I just point it to that file and uh, then there are options for reading this file the first option here is if the file contains header if the file contains header it's going to treat the first row as the header and use that information to create a layout for the source I'm going to leave it as checked that means this file contains the header then we have options about partitioning the file for reading if your file is large and you would like to use multiple readers at the same time to speed up the reading process you can partition the file for reading. For that, you will check this partition file for reading and specify the partition count. You can specify as many readers as you want. However, make sure that you have enough CPUs on the machine running to support your parallel reading. The next option is the field delimiter. By default, it is selected as comma. And since my file contains uh, data that is separated by the comma I'm going to leave it as it is however there are some other options such as a tab delimited semicolon delimited carriage return line feed carriage return and line feed or if you want you can specify your own delimiter say for example a delimiter is a pipe character you can go ahead and type in inside this drop down and it will become your field delimiter however let's go back and leave it as comma next option is record delimiter record delimiter is the delimiter that is going to tell us when your first record ends the second record starts and so on and so forth so that is going to tell us when your record ends and next record it starts by default it is carriage return and line feed together however if you want you can specify just carriage return or just line feed or if you want you can specify your own record delimiter exactly the same way as we saw for field delimiter by typing in your character inside this combo box the next option is encoding Centerprise supports all different sorts of encodings that includes uh, all different languages and uh, all different standards for encoding uh, most of in most of the cases it is going to be unicode and in this case also my file is in unicode utf8 i'm going to leave it as it is next option is the text qualifier a text qualifier is used to wrap a text that may contain special characters for example if your data contains a comma inside a field and it is not a field delimiter in that in that case you would like to use a text qualifier and if the text qualifier is uh, used to, to surround some data it is going to be treated as one field the next option is null text that means what text is going to be treated as null inside center price when it reads the data from the file if you leave it blank that means whatever data is coming as blank is going to be treated as null you can specify your null text such as you can type in null or you can do just a um, say backslash zero such things can be specified as null text however I'm going to leave it as blank for the null text next option is if you want to allow a record delimiter inside a field text as you can see here uh, my record delimiter is carriage return and line feed what happens that this uh, record delimiter appears inside a field and it is not meant to specify end of the record in that case you uh, you would want to use this option that is allow record delimiter inside a field text the next option is if the file is a hierarchical file and normally the data is uh, assumed to be a flat data however center price supports reading of hierarchical data 
in that case you will check this option and uh, immediately you will see options for the options to specify tree definition file to learn more about hierarchical files please see the video about how to use hierarchical files inside enterprise let's uncheck this option and go back to other options let's look at the advanced options um, so enterprise supports uh, matching of headers in subsequent runs of the flow say for example I created this flow and uh, I use this file customers.csv so it has a fixed layout that means it has certain columns and they appear in certain order so what happens that if you run the same data flow next time and you just replace this file with a new file in that case you can still use the same maps and everything else however you have to specify how you want the application to match the data you can say enforce exact header match that means it is going to look for exactly same layout as this file or you can say that column order in the file may be different from the layout that means it is going to use layout column headers to identify columns or you can leave it by default that is column headers in file may be different from the layout in that case it uses column order to identify columns so these are different options to identify columns inside the file when it is being used with a different file other than uh, what uh, what file was used to build the layout then there is an option about if the header spans over multiple rows you can specify normally it is just one row but if you if you have a file where your header spans multiple rows you can specify here in that case uh, it starts reading the real data for those many rows next option is uh, if you have uh, some unwanted rows in the beginning of your file and you want to skip them all together you can specify that you can say skip initial how many ever rows then the next option is about a raw text filter so enterprise has um, transformations to filter out data uh, but after reading however if you want the source itself to filter out some data uh, and use a raw text filter you can use this this option is very useful when you're processing multiple record types inside the same file or if you have certain records that you want to process and certain records that you do not want to process so you can specify this option such as a process if uh, the data begins with you can specify say the record begins with ABC then only process it then only you read it otherwise don't read it similarly you can do process if matches the regular expression so you can use a regular expression to filter out the records that you want to process and, and leave out other records I'm going to leave it by default that is no filters and the last option is about the string processing that means if you want to treat empty string as null value or not so that is another option that is for a string processing so these are the options about reading delimited source if you go to the next page what it does that it goes to the file that we specified in last page and reads out the layout so this is how the layout is it has uh, 11 columns and these are the headers and these are the data types for each of the columns if you want you can change the data, these data types by selecting data types from this combo box if you have spatial formats say for example one of your columns is date time and if you want to specify your format for that you can change the format so that it is looking for that particular format for reading so this is how the layout is built for delimited source you go to the next step and that is standard page where you can specify your comments click on OK and if you expand the chevron our delimited source is ready at this point I can right click on it and go to the preview data and preview the real data from the source file as you can see here in data preview Centerprise is displaying the real data from the source Thanks for watching this video.